morning from Switzerland. Hey, what's up? It's Kevin. So, yeah, this is my first ever solo trip. I'm here all by myself. I spent the last two days in Interlaken, and I went on the most scenic kayak ride of my entire life there. I also paraglided off a mountain, which is on the top of my abroad bucket list. I knew that I wanted to do that when I went out here, and I finally did it, and it was as sick as I thought it would be. And today I'm in Lotterbrunnen, which is a few miles south of Interlaken in the mountains, and I'll just show you my view from my Airbnb. So pretty scenic, I'm about to embark on a hike because I want to find this. Found it in the book that's at my Airbnb. It's Route 42 I have to take. You know, I'm gonna show you on the map. Okay, so I have to go from here all the way to there, which is gonna take around five hours. We're gonna do this, and you're coming along with me. This is the start to my five hour hike through the Alps, and I don't even know like how I'm even here right now. It's actually insane. I've been wanting to come to Switzerland like my entire life. Look at the scenery around me. This is actually out of a dream. Disclaimer for the rest of this video, Whatever you're gonna see, the camera just can't capture it. So just a little update, I don't think I'm on the right trail. I think I'm on a different one now, which is a little alarming considering I don't know how to get back from the trail that I'm now on. Cause I know that I'm not on the 42 anymore because I just saw a sign that said 30 something. I'm just gonna roll with it and see where it takes me. Yeah, let's just hope I can find my way back. I know this is gonna turn into a I got lost in Switzerland video, but you know what, I'm okay with that. And it's just part of the adventure. So I'm now entering treacherous territory, hoping not to fall because I'm wearing Adidas shoes. They're not meant for hiking like at all. I'm just gonna sit back and honestly probably fall asleep here. Before I go, I'm gonna show you this waterfall that I found. I don't know where I am, but you know what? I really wanted to get lost here. Like one of my things in Switzerland, like what I wanted to do is just get lost in the woods and I'm accomplishing that right now. Hey, so I just made it to my destination. I never used the word epic, but this is the definition of epic, okay? Like my mind is having a hard time processing what I'm seeing. Like I don't even know really how big it is because it's so gigantic. And if you hear that thundering noise behind me, it's actually snow falling off the mountain. Wait, I'm gonna see how high up I am. What's my elevation? I'm 6,103 feet right now above sea level, which is pretty high. Glacier Kevin signing off. <laughs> Switzerland, my phone just died. It's starting to get dark. I actually also ran out of water too, which is great. <laughs> I'm gonna start walking back because I think that's the smart thing to do. If I was with somebody, we probably would have been already walking back like hours ago because <laughs> I just don't think of time ever. So yeah, let's hope I get back before the wolves come out. Okay, so I just came across a train. I don't know if it's in service or not, but I know that's kind of like the wimpy way to do it. I should just hike back down, but I know that that's the smart way to do it, you know? Just like, I'm going off my instinct, I shouldn't just walk down aimlessly, because I just don't even know how I got up here, you know? Okay, so this is future Kevin on a future hike, and I just saw exactly where I was sitting in front of the glacier, and I just wanted to show you, because it's actually insane. So, that's where I was, like right over there, that's the train station, and that's the glacier. Future Kevin signing off. Never feel like you're alone When you're lost but you're already home Lie awake cause you can't dream without it So I just got back. I'm about to go to bed, but I just want to say thanks for watching and joining this hike with me today. Hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. If you couldn't tell, I literally cried. <laughs>
Okay, so I'm about to be really cheesy right now, but I'm literally tearing up. Before I went abroad, I told myself I wanted to find like places that were just unimaginable to me. And this is definitely one of those places that I could not even believe that was real until I was here, you know? So it just was a great day. Also, I really recommend traveling alone. This is kind of out of my comfort zone going places alone. I usually need someone to like order with me when I go get food somewhere. I'm that dependent on people, but I never once felt lonely throughout this trip. I kind of wanted to come here alone just because I knew that I wanted to do my own thing and I wouldn't want to be on other people's schedules. It's just nice to be able to be on your own time and do what you want. I highly recommend doing this. I'm definitely going to do this again one day. I now know that I am capable of traveling alone and figuring stuff out. If I could figure out the trains and planes and all the transportation and stuff, you can do that. I am not the best with that kind stuff but this was a test and I survived and I made it so if you want to keep up with my abroad travels you can follow me on insta at Kevin Jorniak it's a really good time over there and yeah I'll see you guys next time my arm hurts from holding the camera so I just decided to change my flight I am supposed to leave tonight at 5 which would mean I have to go to the airport pretty soon, which I'm not about that. So I think I'm just gonna go home tomorrow so I have an extra day. Why would I leave this right now if I have the option to change it, you know? And it's confirmed.